Okay, hello there. Welcome back to the channel, Button Addict. So, I want you guys to subscribe and like the video, of course. But today we are playing a super awesome game. Well, I've heard it's pretty good, pretty unique. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, this is a brand new game for. I know nothing about this game except for the trailer, which I will put somewhere up in the top corner. Okay. So let's try a new game. Ah, oh, sweetie. Phew, made it on the train. 15 minutes ahead of schedule. Nice. So far, so good. For my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot. My name tag is it ready. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. And to name. Um, um, um. Yeah. No. I should make my name. There you go. That's my name. Okay. I don't think I can show my face around here again if I wrote that. Let's <laughs> Is it because it's got addict in it? Is that the reason why? Okay. Yeah. Pansy. Button. Let's get the capital B on button. What's wrong with button YT? Oh, it's because it's got butt in it. Man, this game sucks. Whatever name I put is just wrong. Okay, let's try again. So I can put meat loafer. But I can't put my YouTube channel name. Right. Apparently my YouTube channel name is far too sexual for this kind of game. So much for the attitude error where Sonic was a badass. Yes, you spelled it right, you little red freak. Hope passengers can read my scribble. Yeah, you know, check snivel. All right, let's go. Let's go into the game. Ah, so wait. Ah, we're on a train, a dining car. Nice. Uh oh, I am I nervous? Is this my first day on the job, jitters? Yeah. Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, meat loafer, shake it off. Yeah, I feel so good. Meat loafer, did I uh, just see you hitting yourself? Maybe you should go see a doctor about that. M -m 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 Mr. Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Ho, 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 ho. I'm not pretending to be Santa, but in fact, I'm doing quite all right myself. Though feeling a little bittersweet, all that candy is giving me toothache. Is everything good? But well, truth be told, not really. Alas, today's my last day, day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. You bum. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Ah, there's a clue right there. Mirage. It's all gonna be a hallucination, isn't it? 
Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Get out of here. Thank you. My wife is disappointed that I have no money. She's already got our plane tickets to the middle of nowhere. Our shower's been locked on the fence, so I'm super excited to use... <laughs> I can see why his wife's excited. He stinks! Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working. Their dining car. Here's the menu for today. Menu added to my... Ah, oh, it's up there. Very good. I can open the inventory any time to view items I've received. You should look over the menu carefully. Of course you should. The Mirage Express dining... Uh, show me the damn menu. Chili dog, ramen, of course. It's a Sonic game. Of course, and a fancy menu, you have to have a chili dog. Why do you look so nervous? Do you have the crabs? All we have on the train is a microwave. <laughs> Though I'm sure a little quiz is in order for you to subscribe to the channel. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Ding ding ding! Glad you read the menu. Okay. There, even a toddler can read your menu. A little back to vessel. This is a state of the art a high speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. A microwave. Yay! The train can handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. The train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to get the tickets, but after that you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? Hey, you sure can't. The service pays lousy. <laughs> My crappy jokes on the Mirage Express are opening all aboard. Ah, oh, that's a that's a sick train. That is. Come on. It's Amy and it's Knuckles and it's Sonic. Amy tried to look fabulous. Oh, it's Tails. Wow, this is this train is amazing. What fantastic tech, of course. Ah, it's Victor. Yay! I have not seen Victor since uh, Sonic X. And if you know that, I respect you. Salute! Double salute! You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. What do you expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party. Oh, so it's Amy's birthday party, sound. This train is as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Because... Cause I'm Roots the Bat. Calm down, calm down. Rude, did I not catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? It was a pen, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? What cast of characters am I stuck with? Sonic. Get a hold of yourself, meat loafer. You're sweating through your uniform. Oh no, you peed yourself. Crap. Hey pal, can I get one of those chili dogs? Oh, it's Sonico. Well, aren't you friendly? Yeah. Because you're going to die, apparently. Why can't I be normal for one second? 
Sonic, wait! Wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food! Ha, <laughs> sorry about that, Betty girl! I'll be coming through, I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Mikloofer, won't you? Just click on who you'd like to talk with and collect, we'll collect the ticket. Okay, got it. Okay, let's go, Tails. Can I get your ticket, youngin? Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle jelly tin. It's sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way! I brought my own sparkle jelly tin with me too. It's my first day and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous. You're doing a great job. Where's sparkly... Sparkle gelatin buddies, yay! <laughs> Absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness, someone on this train is someone on this train is normal. Okay, let's go, Sonic. Take it, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself on board. Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kids swore you'd swoop in eventually. And you did! I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat it, things. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait, is it easy? Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Fun now. Will do, thanks. Okay, let's go for SBO. I think it's SBO. Could we please see your ticket? Of course, yes! I remembered. SBO. There we go. Excellent, thank you. And I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his present puts me at ease. You consider me a uh, calming? He's looking right at me. I study Ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Well, Ninjutsu, that sounds a lot like a lot of difficult training. Can you can you cling to walls? Cling onto walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. Let's go with Victor! Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Uh, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something you miss? I seem to misplace my ticket. Could you please speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't worry. We'll take a look around and see if it turns up. Ah, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Ah, oh, Shadow's here. Put the Shadow here. Thank you. Everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Ah, no. But I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I can get for you. That's there. Boom! <laughs> so cold. Mitlofer, you're shivering. Do you need me to fix your jacket? Haha, <laughs> no, I'm good. 
Let's talk to our roots to max. Well, hello you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else here. Yeah? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am. I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Gonna have to uh, kindly ask for that back. Oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out here. I may not actually be the best at judging characters. No, you're not. Alright. May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. Our princess, such as myself, must always be punctual. But, pretty, pretty princess? Did, did she say princess? If you don't ask me, if you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. Yeah. Oh, the place. A separate one? No. Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. Noise. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. Ho oh, ho! You don't say, well I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I, why can I not win with this group? With Amy. Can I please get the birthday girl's ticket? Hee <laughs> hee. Why certainly. Thank you miss. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And the murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Maybe we should leave it to have fun. Before we move along, for you miss. Oh, how fun, thank you. Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. The birthday girl gets the birthday, girl. birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. We'll use this wisely, thank you. Mmm, yummy. Don't mind if I do. Meat loafer, those are for our guests, you know. Train. Be sure meat loafer only gets one of those if they ask. Um. Did that, did the arm just kind of nod? Actually, uh, the train conductor wants me to have the whole plate. Faha! <laughs> Good try, young buck. The train and I have worked together for a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Drat! Those snacks look really tasty too. Mirage Express. Welcome aboard. Howdy, could I please get your ticket? I think that's a ticket. But I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good. Thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, is that everyone? What's sticking out of the napkin holder? Say, wasn't someone looking for their ticket? 
let's be sure to return this case rightful owner. And let's make sure nobody uses their ticket as a napkin. Lost ticket is added to your inventory. Well, we just might have what you need. Meet Lofa, why don't you show our friend what we picked up? Ah, there it is, that's my ticket. Thanks so much to you both. Was really worried you kicked me out and I missed the murder mystery. Ho oh, ho! Old Midley over here would have had their hands full kicking you out. You're right, I wouldn't leave without a fight. Ha ha ha! Wait, who made me both the microwave expert and security guard? You're both doing right in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone. Time for me to read out everyone's rules for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And train, assist me loafer if they need any help, won't you? For her, that's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor and his train. Excellent, I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state of the art and has systems for dealing with all that. For everything else, please talk to Meatloaf here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent as well. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your law cards as well. Law cards? That must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense. Law cards aren't read out loud, otherwise people would know the murderer's intentions. Now on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered. And the rest sus suspects. Everyone has assigned roles. For characters they will be playing. Participation is required. For it is my birthday. Of course. Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you really, are, you really are the ship. You are a ship captain, and you'll be stationed in the conductor's car. Naturally, that's where the conductor captain would go. Tails, you are the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you are the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon. And Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Hmm, such one. Vector, you're the butcher. And SPO, you're the poet. Both found in the library. Either SPO, we get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Shadow is the locksmith. Hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Ah, um, I was listening in. Hope that's okay. More than alright. You can help every. You can help ensure everyone. Everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. 
I have a map for you. Ah, uh, crap. Everyone station is marked on this map. How convenient. Map added to your inventory. The rules of the game are as follows. There is a murder amongst war. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. But you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the tribe and use it to integrate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. Oh, excuse me. Whoa, here comes. Whoa, here comes. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused. So respect everything you can find. Find clues and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone, to your stations. Ah, this is so exciting. A mystery is unfolding right under our noses. Same. Ah, isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping out the place. This, where there's always a neutral party, makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations, talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what the character motivations are, Amy? No, the law cards are confidential. No one knows, but the person who received them. My backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My law is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna lie, this sounds kind of fun. Which one is stuck in micro cheating? The train started moving. It's so fast. Grab onto something. Holy cheese. What's. What is going on? Ah, it's slipping. Oh no. I can't. Ah. And we all die together. Oh, hell no. You're both awake. Yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Yeah, my head is spinning a bit, but I'm okay. It seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Meat loafer, could you get the door? Of course. Hmm, it seems the door is blocked and I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen shelf a whack with your pika pika hammer. 
Let's find another way out. I'll start uh, looking for clues. I'll search over here. I know Amy. She's hiding something. Huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet. Then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the truth. I mean the full situation. Gather evidence. Interrogate got it. Yep, so we gotta make sure they're taken care of. Understood. Yes, yes, flashback. You can carry on me tails. I won't turn even I won't turn evil like your ex flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. The shelf is blocking our exit. It's not currently budging. Hey, meat loafer, look closely at this. I want to have this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing this shelf could have done, could have fallen into, and I'm pretty sure this damage wasn't there before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack on shelf is added to your inventory. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. How do I become as optimistic as this kid? Ah, the wet floor sign. Keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spilled juice at the grocery store, no wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. But he was going so fast that he also slipped on the juice. We slid into an old gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's the thought that counts, I suppose. What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? When we get out of it, when we get out of it, sure. I normally never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot, a lot of use lately. I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. Haha. <laughs> I've only had microwave lunches this week. Uh, anything else? What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I find a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train. Oh, I'll keep looking. Find any clues? Uh, okay, that's the same conversation. Why don't we look around a little more first? What else is there? Uh, Okay, same. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, guys, guys, so I'm about to end up this video. We've made it to the dining closet. We've had a supposed crash on the train, this very high-tech train, and Amy is hiding something from us. If you want to see more videos on this game, then make sure to comment down below. Anyway, so don't forget to subscribe. Um... Ring ding 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 that notification bell to stay notified on all things button addict and yeah see you next time